Hey guys, welcome to Dave's Nanotanks week 34 in reef keeping. Um, we're going to work with the nano cube today. I'll show you what's going on in there. It's uh, a new beginning. And we're going to go over to the 55 gallon and I'll show you what's up in there. So stay tuned. Aptasia on a new rock. So I'm releasing the Kraken. I just put the peppermint shrimp in there. I just added the peppermint shrimp into the nano cube, and he was in the sump. Because he got a taste for Psyllopora and Stylopora polyps. So I noticed a few Aptasia in this new live rock. So I put him back in here. He's usually pretty quick at identifying them and taking them out. But since I just put him in here, it might take him a few. Uh, the yellow Watchman Gobi didn't turn yellow yet, and his face is still very white. But he is getting some color. He is getting darker um, down the side. Stripes are coming in. A little more green than yellow. So, uh, got to get him some tank mates. So, maybe we'll go take a ride and see what they got at the store. There's a black barracuda from that. There's my buddy. Big orange dog face. Does little tricks for me. Waiting for food. These are shark eggs. You can actually see the shark inside. Uh, when they get them, they scrape the side of the egg um, of all the algae and stuff, so it becomes a little more translucent. You can actually see this, the shark inside. So they have three of them here. They're pretty cool. This guy, you can tell, is a big striped shark. So it might be neat to observe and, you know, catch him out. When he hatches, you have a shark. <laughs> so, gotta think about that. Good too. tank mates for Mad Dog's Gobi. But, uh, let's get serious. My sunglasses are kind of taking too much of the blue out. Now, in there, what looks white is fluorescent blue. It could be mostly due to the lights. Get some great bubbles in here. And over here, aquarium activist would love this with all the worms. He likes his feathered dusters and cocoa worms. We'll do it close. There's some seahorses hanging out in here. Nano Nemos. That's the tip of my finger, look how small they are. Yeah, depending on what they are, they're 9 or $19. So I'm probably going to pull a trio out of here this weekend for the cube. I just can't decide which one, so I might get one of each. And do a little tank tour. I like to look at everything in the morning. Uh, Pallies are doing wonderful. A couple little yellow zoes on a rock in front. They never disappoint. Come over here to my zoanthids. And they are happy and opened. And I want to move them into the nano cube. <laughs> That's how it goes, you know. As soon as they start doing well, we move them. Uh, I might let them stay if they behave. 
It's got some good stuff. A lot of this stuff doesn't show up though very well. Like that Sunset Montipora just looks like a yellow ball. And look at this guy. This guy's pretty cool. Last night I was feeding the trumpet corals and he decided he wanted to be target fed. So he actually held on to the end of the turkey baster, which was pretty cool. Everything's doing good. This is actually uh, right dead center where my stylophora just burned out. And uh, it's all around where the where it was basing out onto the rock. That stayed behind, so pretty happy about that. The corals don't die. Well, sometimes they do. The trumpet coral is really just... I can't seem to make it stop glowing, but that's pretty much how it looks. The one in the back. It's almost a glow-in-the-dark coral. And my mushroom that split. Ever since I put reefing with O's mushrooms in here, my mushrooms decided they want to go crazy too. So, man has something in the rocks. <laughs> uh, Jedi mind trick doesn't look like anything under blue lights. We'll come back to them later. And tank's waking up. Everybody's looking around for a little bit of breakfast. Pecking around at the rocks. I think we'll give them a little P.E. Mysis and uh, spirulina flake. Cornerstone of any good breakfast. gets your metabolism going that first meal of the day Those are my, the two star players there that fuck face in a coal tank I don't think the rats woke up yet he missed the meal oh I saw him okay good I don't have to check the floor. <laughs> and that's that. Down in the refugium, we're doing well. Now we have the dragon's breath, the calerpa, and the chato. Uh, I spin the chato every day with a spoon and try to stir it up a little bit. But I have three baby mollies in here. Uh, let's see if one will make an appearance. There's one down the bottom. Um, I didn't net them out of the molly's tank. The Molly's tank does empty into here, so they took a little ride in the overflow. Uh, no pumps were involved. No Molly's were hurt. I think the um, adult Molly's took care of most of the fry because I didn't get on it in time. But it's kind of what happens. So it's neat to see them in there. You'll notice the 20 high is dark, and that's where the mollies are supposed to be. And you see one in the sump. I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> I don't know if he jumped over the top. If he took a ride through the overflow, he would have been in the refugium chamber, which is over here. So that's where that empties to. So it's possible he got into there and then jumped into here. Uh, I don't know. But... She's going to hang out there for a little while, I guess.
You guys are still here? It's over. Thanks for watching, but it's over. I'm sure there's a live stream on you guys are missing right now. So go find Rico's Reefing Community live stream. Watch it. Learn stuff. We know we love Rico. And it's his birthday tonight, so make sure you tune in. Thanks. Bye.